Hello, welcome to Life Forever Fit. Angela here, and I am ready for an awesome workout with you today. It is Shift Episode 7, and it is called No Impact. Exactly, No Impact. No jumping around today. <laughs> I know Shift um, classes can be sometimes quite intense, right? But today, hey, no impact whatsoever. Doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. Oh man, it's gonna challenge you in some cool, core-like ways. And when I say core, not just like abdominals, which is great, yes, we want to have great abdominals, but it will strengthen your back, your obliques, and your mobility, your ability to get up, down, uh, from the floor, up to standing, up to standing to the floor, as functional as you can. All right, so that is the goal today. Let's get started. I'm gonna give you just a couple more seconds to get ready. Make sure you do have shoes on. However, today, if you like to do the workout, shoeless, barefoot, you actually could. We are not jumping, so you could try it out. I haven't ever, but I can see why it should be a problem. It's kind of very stable on the floor type of work. We will be moving around though, so it's up to you, shoes or no shoes for today. Also, make sure that you do have a mat. My floor is squishy stuff, so I'm all good. However, if you are on hardwood floor or tile, you must get a mat or a rug or something to um, make your knees feel okay if we go down to the floor. All right, I'm ready to get started, so let's get go. Warm up is six moves, 45 seconds each, and let me get my beeper up first. Here we go. Yes, I know you like to hear the beep, right? Let's do it. Six moves to just get us in all ranges of motion, working like we got this, okay? And then the other part of the workout, I'll be just a little bit more intense. <laughs> all right, I'd like you to slide your hands down, down, and down until you're like, okay, that's it. And from there, hold on, which should be more or less the middle of off your uh, your ankles and you drop the hip and lift if you can hold into the ankle itself kind of like way down there that takes more flexibility and still hold on as you pop the booty up yeah that is good flexibility oh man but it is not the easiest thing to accomplish so don't worry if you're not quite there well done. Next move, come to standing, open your legs wide and shift your hands, forgive me, shift your knees from side to side. Hold your hands nice and quiet right here. As you do so, do it gradually. Don't do it too fast. And you can go deeper on every single shift, yeah. However, that depends on how much your knees can handle today. If you have great flexibility, maybe here is an option, but not all knees can do that, so just be careful there. And then take it to the other side. Oh, it feels good right there, inner thigh, right? No kidding. Come up to standing. I'm turning to the side, you don't have to. We are going to lunge forward and lunge back. Reset, other leg, lunge forward, and then tap here and lunge back, other side. Lunge forward by stepping on with the heel first. Hold it there, and down. Here we go again, forward, other leg. Up. Yeah, balance always gets triggered on lunges, every single time. And one more time on the other side. Well done. Inchworm. This one is a hard one on the hamstrings as well. So at first, bend the knees, hands down, and come on a plank. Then, if you need your knees down, and get yourself up to standing again. Now do all that with the legs as straight as possible. And going down is no problem usually. Problem is coming up without bending the legs. That is a lot more effort. <laughs> All right. But only in the back of the legs. Do get a good stretchy with that. 
Mm -hmm. And up to standing. Here we go. Legs not too wide, arms wide. Hey, helicopter. <laughs> All right. Rotate your torso. All right. And just let it be. Let your hands be super soft. Okay, love it. That rotation of your spine, yes, that is super important to get done, no matter what kind of workout you do. Maybe you do other workouts other than with me, right? When you warm up, make sure you include rotation of the spine in one way or another. Next move has the funniest name. It's called the Jan, Jane Fonda. <laughs> so silly. Legs wide, arms out, and touch the toes across. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yes. That woman was definitely so good at fitness. And hey, I think that if we do this, starting as soon as we can in our lives, We'll be as fit as she is at age what 70 plus all right i don't know maybe she's even almost 80 i don't know how old is that woman okay love it this is also a twist of your spine isn't it and your warm-up is complete good job let's get set for a great workout today we will have a total of 10 moves each move will always be 45 seconds the moves are standing, then the next one could be on the floor, da da da. In between each move, there's always 15 seconds to transition. So in that transition, I am kind of like already showing you what comes next. So eyes on me. And these 10 moves, we're gonna do it twice. Two big sets, sounds good? First one, legs wide. Bring your hands, put right here in front of your chest. Triple pulse squat, let's set and go. Three, two, one and up three two one and up i know i to explain what is going on in the rest of this class here today in 30 seconds sounded a little overwhelming so if you're like oh my goodness what did you just say don't worry <laughs> i'm gonna give you one move at a time what you need to know is there is 10 moves that's it 10 moves at 45 seconds each so the sets today, set one and two, totally the same. And time. We come down to the floor into a push-up. This is a three pulls push-up. So hands are wider, knees down at first. Toes are firmly on the floor. Pulls three times. Three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, push. Good. Now, it is easier if you bring your legs closer towards your hands. Make sure your elbows are pointing out. It is harder if you bring your knees as far away from you as possible. And then of course, it is super hard if we do it with our knees up. But I'm gonna leave that for the second set. I'm really very terrible at it, I know that. So, I will not go there right now. <laughs> and release next one come up oh i was gonna say standing that was my bad <laughs> lay down three poles glute bridge so lay down on the floor hands are flat by the side of your body your heels are firm on the floor lift the hips make sure that your heels are pressing down hard and we pulse three times three two one release don't touch the floor go three two one and down and it's a slight squeeze of the booty good one keep the belly in nice and tight Whew. going smooth sail and down and if you are feeling this back of your leg yep good for you hamstrings get definitely triggered with this move three two one and down well done come up to standing take your time getting there don't rush it 
If you're a little behind me, that's okay. Don't worry. Curtsy lunge to a squat. So take your right leg across, then squat, and then the left leg across, squat, curtsy, squat. There it is. Now, try to keep your hips low. We tend to kind of disengage the whole thing here and then go like, so bring a bit more precision in every single move and keep the quads under tension. Oh boy, the entire time. And by now, I'm sure you're feeling that heat creeping up on the quads. <laughs> that makes you breathe harder, so that's good too. And time. Well done. We come down to the floor again. X ball. Now listen up. X ball works like this. Lay down all the way. <sighs> kind of like I'm making an X with your body. And then tuck yourself in to a tiny little ball. X it out. Come in. X it out. That's it. Come in. Now breathe in when you are extended. And then breathe out when you curb. Breathe in. And breathe out fully. And exhale. Breathe. And exhale. Very good. And time. Guess what? We come up again. Take your time. I told you it's going to challenge your mobility. Get off, on, off, on the floor with ease. It takes practice. Power knee. All right. Bring your right leg to the side, arms towards the left, and give me four, three, two, one. Other side. Four, three, two, one. Keep alternating. Now, add a twist here, a little bit more dramatic. And go. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, you got this. Four, three, two. One more on each side. Oh, watch out. My balance gets triggered. And four, Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Next one. Come down to seated. Triceps, toe tap. Triceps dip, toe tap. Alrighty. Try this first. Hips up and just move hips up and down. Make sure you're building, make sure you're bending the elbow. Don't just go like that. The elbows need to move. Then a dip, toe tap, oh boy, a dip, toe tap, a dip, you may want to sit down to do the toe tap if that makes it possible for you to accomplish this exercise. All right, and go. You're going to catch yourself, quick, quick, one more on the other side, and very done. Don't come up. Don't come up. Plank to hover. Both are planks. The hover is a low plank right here. Elbows on the floor. That's what I often call a hover. So stay there. With your right arm, walk up to a plank. So this is a high plank. That's how I like to name things. Walk down to a hover. Now with your left side, Plank and down. Guess what the challenge is? Knees up, hold. Right, left, right, left. Now start with the left, right? Good. Okay, one more round on each side. Right, left. Okay, last one here. Excellent. And time. Take a breather. You're still on the floor. Not coming up that much now. However, make sure you have room 
to go forward and back. We're gonna do the bear crawl. Bear crawl looks like this. You can do it with actually knees on the floor and just crawl back and forth. Now make it challenging by hands firmly on the floor, knees just off the floor and go forward and back. Now make sure your knees stay close to the floor. If you end up doing this, it's actually harder on your back. So just bring those knees down and go one, two, three, four, or whatever space you got, you know? And backwards is always harder. I can do about four forward and four back. But my timer says done. Good one. Last one right here on the floor for you. Listen up. Two push-ups, two frog walks. This is what it looks like. Two push-ups, and then walk forward, forward, back, and back. Let's do it. Come on. Two push-ups. One, two, walk forward, forward, back, and back. Two push-ups. Now, initiate with the other leg. I'm gonna start with the right, with the left one. There down and down. Now, making this more challenging is push-ups, knees up. And then we go forward, forward, back, and back. That's that. 10 moves are done. Oh, that went fast. We're gonna do these 10 one more round. And then seriously, you'll be done for the day. Now that we kinda know what's coming, we can be a bit more intense into, let's say, squats can be deeper. <laughs> Push-ups, knees up, or knees farther away from your arms. What else can be uh, faster in many moves? So let's take everything a notch further by doing it faster or a broader range of motion. Here we go. As for squats, I can go faster. And up, three, two, one and up. If you need to slow it down, no worries. If you still need to do it right here, you know you're not quite knee height with those squats, no worries. Do what feels like a good workout for you today, but that isn't hurting you. Two, one and up. Three, two, one and up. Good one, 10 seconds more. Always brace the core. Keep those abdominals tight. One more, one more, one more. Three, two, one, and done. Next move. Triple pulse push up. I'm gonna try them really hard with my knees up. I hate just thinking about it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm gonna do knees down first. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Three, Two, one, and up. Two more like that. Okay. Already. <gasps> okay. Go. Three, two, one. Push. I feel like I can go that low, obviously. Push. Three, two, one. Push. I hate it as much as you do. Come on. Knees down again. I don't care. I like to go a little lower than not. See, my chest is a bit closer to the floor when my knees are down. Time, good one. All right, come down to the floor here still. Three pulls glute bridge. Let's go non-stop, 45 seconds. Ready, set, and go. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down, you go. Breathe through it. Try to maintain your torso even. Try to maintain the pressure of your heels to the floor even. And down and go. Already. Whew. You got 15 seconds, still going. Come along, belly always in, right? 
you notice how much we have to engage the abdominals in any sorts of moves we do? Even if it's not exactly an abs workout, right? Abdominals are always there. Now, please come up, take your time. Slowly, no problem. Curtsy, lunge, squat in between, alternating sides. Sounds good? All right, here we go. Curtsy, squat, curtsy, squat. I'm trying to gonna go as fast as it's doable. Keeping those quads in that tension I want. All right. Come along, come along. Go, 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 go. Whew. And yes, there is that burn creeping up. Usually the last 15 seconds are the ones who start hurting. Burning, not hurting, you know what I mean? And time. Lovely, well done. Ball. Okay. So far, so good, right? Take a deep breather. Alrighty. Extend all the way. Good. One, two, three. Tuck in. How fast can this happen? Nice. You are coming along so well. Good job. Okay. <sighs> More tiring than it looks, right? Very good. Yeah. Okie dokie. Time. We are still on the floor. Oh, forget me, you're not. Come up. You stand one more time. Power knee. Four on each side. One leg back. Doesn't matter which side you start, really. Doesn't matter. Ready and go. Four, three, two, one. Chain sides. Oh, yeah. Now we bring in speed. Chain sides. Go. Two, three, four. Chain sides. Nice, 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 nice. Four, three, two, one, and keep rotating. And there we go, twist. Don't forget the twist. Right here, bring your arms a little bit more behind ya. Okay, go. And four, three, two, one. Go, four, three, two, and time. There you go, your heart rate up. That's what we want. Next deal. Come down seated. <sighs> Triceps dip. Toe tap. Here we go. <sighs> Lift hips off the floor. Down. Toe tap. Down. Toe tap. There. <sighs> Good one. Oh, yay. Challenges my balance as well, doesn't it? Whew. I love it. I can't talk too much through this one. Kind of gotta stay focused so I stay even. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm struggling. And that was that. Plank to hover. I like to start at the hover though. So start here, elbows on the floor. Already, elbows down. I'm gonna do one round with my knees down. So go right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. All right, knees up, go. Right, left, right, left, left. Left, right, good one. Oh, and if you feel like you have to uh, speak up, gonna grunt a little bit, no problem. This move takes a tremendous amount of effort. All right. Mm. Ha, okay, one more on 
this side. There we go. Good job. Alrighty, bear crawl. Alrighty, let's go. Always makes me wonder how babies do this so easily. I remember my kiddos were crawling. Oh man, they were little bears, all right? They could do it so fast. Okay, well, usually they have their knees on the floor, right? But there are some babies who do kind of crawl like this with their butt up, right? Did yours do that? <laughs> I had one kiddo, my first one. He didn't crawl at all. He would scoot on his butt. That's it. And then when he was 10 months and a half, he grabbed a chair, pulled himself up, and walked away. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. He is 17 now. Oh my goodness. Time flies. Okay. Good job. Man. Last one. Push up. Two push ups. And a frog walk. <laughs> Funny name, huh? Two push ups. Here we go. Push up. Here we go. Start your frog walk with the right side. Do it slowly. This one is a huge mobility. Craze. Then go down. Go. Push up. And then do it with the left. Okay. On the next round, my push ups are going knees up. Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Just two. One. Two. Forward. Forward. Back. And back. Two more. <gasps> Last one. One. Gonna finish the walk. Go left, right, and left, and right. We are done. Good. I told you this wasn't gonna be easy peasy. Just because it doesn't have impact doesn't mean it's easier. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's harder. <laughs> okay. Very good job training your planes of motion. We went forwards, backwards, sideways. Floor, up, floor, uh, yeah, all the time. Strengthening everything to keep you fit for life. That's the goal. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for doing this class with me. Please click a like. Share this video with somebody that needs fitness in their life. I think everybody does. So share it on your social media. And um, give me a comment. I want to hear from you how this class went for you. Tell me what what it feels like for you. Okay guys, thank you so much. Until soon, bye.